off of having one of the best wash days and twist outs ever. So I figured I might as well go ahead and do this and let you guys see it. So I am back with an Old Bay, the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And this right here has been around for forever, but it really did come to life for me when I just used it the other day. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my twist. So I had them in for maybe, I think like two or three days, maybe two days. So I'm just gonna go ahead and retwist and sleep on this tonight. Because you know how when you have your twist out after, well for me the first night, the first night my hair gets so smashed <laughs> from laying down on it. So I have to go ahead and retwist it. And this is what I'm doing right now. And over the last maybe, whenever I did that last that last uh, length check, my hair has grew one inch. So it was at 10 inches and now it's at 11 inches. So I'm really excited about that. But even more so than that, normally my twist outs, my hair gets so tangly and just so matted. But I went back to this old fave, the Shea Moisture, and it really did bring some life and some bounce to my hair. See how I'm able to just do this? I had a video on here from like maybe a month ago and I did my wash day and my hair was so dry and brittle. I even considered taking the um, video off because I was like, <laughs> my hair looks crazy. But I kept it on there as a learning tool. And I'm happy that I did because this is like day and night from that video. See the difference? You could just see it so much. Please go back and watch that other video and leave me some comments. And please let me know if you see the difference from that wash day video and this video right here. See all the slip? Oh my goodness. So I was like, you know what? This is how it's supposed to be. After you have your wash day and you do your deep conditioning treatment and then your leave-in treatment. And this is how it's supposed to be. This is what promotes healthy hair. This is how you get your hair to grow, okay? So um, I know that I'm adding product back in there, but it's okay. By the time I wake up tomorrow, it'll be nice and dry, okay? The product will have dried. My hair won't be dry. Another tip, you know what? I don't know if you guys are already doing this in omelette, but another tip that I found that helped this particular wash day was when it was time for bed, I left um, my, I don't know what those bags are called, but you know like those plastic shower caps that you would use, not necessarily for your shower, but if you had like a permarized set or something like that, one of those plastic caps. So I left that plastic cap on my hair and when I woke up in the morning, it wasn't dried out. You know, for me and my um, very coarse texture, by the time I wake up in the morning or after the product has dried, my hair is so coarse again. My hair has dried out, you know, but this particular time I left the plastic cap on my head and then I put my satin scarf on. So all of that moisture from the product, it stayed in there. And I feel like that's the secret right there. For me, it's keeping the moisture. And I know if I do this for ongoing for wash day, my hair is going to grow tremendously. Okay, so if you're wondering why this one is so long and this one is much shorter, my hair it's sh it shrinks <laughs> so yeah like it just shrinks <laughs> so in a couple of seconds it'll get up to this one as well but i cannot believe like it's like when you 
finally find your secret recipe and you know, okay, I'll never go back again. This is how I'm gonna do my hair. That's how I feel right now. I'm super excited because I found the remedy for my dry coarse hair. And actually, after this, I don't have dry coarse hair no more. This is only like my first wash day. So let me give it a couple of weeks, a couple of washes, let my hair get all the way established to its newfound freedom and you'll see. Okay, so yeah, like perfect example. See how like once I put the product in, it got some good little stretch, right? And here's my hair. Here's my hair regularly. Nice, tight, and coiled, super, super tight to my scalp. But then once I add the moisturizing product and I elongate it, it got some little stretch. Okay, in case you're wondering, in case you're super curious and you just want to know, like I want to know. Let's see. So put the one right here. Okay, so here goes eight, nine, ten. And this one is about at ten. This hair right here is about ten and a half which is still good, that's half an inch for this hair. This hair down here is stretching all the way down to 11 though. But hey, I'll take it. Whatever it wants to give me, whatever this length wants to give me, I'll go ahead and take. But oh my gosh, when you finally get the product right, it's not even a chore anymore. You could just whip through it ever so easily, ever so seamlessly. And that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so for me, the worst part about wash day was the detangling process. See my hair right here? See this little hair? It's so tight to my scalp and it all just starts um, just curling on top of each other. So I am so happy that I fell back in love with the old fave because this has really helped me out of wash day. So this right here is going to be my crown area. So I don't know if I've measured my crown, but I think my crown is going to be the shortest. This looks like it's only like eight inches up here, but you know it is what it is i can't wait till i get up here to this bang area so i could surprise you guys and show you how far it stretches down okay so what i definitely want to do is start now that i have this newfound hair freedom <laughs> moisturize 4c popping curls um, I definitely want to start doing more natural hairstyles. Um, I really don't have very much variety. Normally, I'll just do, how boring, I do a TWA or a puff. Um, but there's a couple of people that I have been watching for years, like the Chic Natural. Oh my God, there's nothing that she cannot do when it comes to hair, makeup, and all of that. So um, I've tried a couple of her hairstyles because she makes it look so easy. Like, okay, let me go ahead and do that. But it don't really come out <laughs> as quite as nice as hers. Um, she has such, such really creative styles and what I love about her is that she keeps, she maintains the integrity of her hair. Rarely does she use any heat. And if she does use any heat, actually, I don't think she uses any heat at all because even for like, um, for her straighter looks, 
she has this stretching method so she don't really use any heat at all and um i'm doing this 20 challenge this 2020 challenge with her oh i forgot to show you guys okay so too late now but did you see the hair before i started working it through with the water and the product it was like kind of dry super it was like this right it was like that it was like that right now look at it look at it look at my curls look at my curls see this is like look at this this is all the way this is like 50 percent more like 75 percent shrink shrinkage look how far it comes down but look at it this is this is how it is regular it ain't even that loose actually it's like like this it'd be up here like that it'd be up here like that just like that but once i put that curl enhancer smoothie it just brings it down okay but yeah so um the chic natural she is on this 2020 challenge of no heat at all and i cannot believe that i am on month nine no heat no heat no blow dry no curling iron no anything the only thing is i wish that i would have found my old bay the curling handsome smoothie earlier this year and the thing is i've used the curling handsome smoothie like who hasn't i've used the curling handsome smoothie i just can't believe that i had to go back to an old thing to get some change that I so desperately needed. But now that I'm here, I am happy about it. I think the front of my hair has, oh, um, so I'm using these little castor oil capsules as well. I'm using the curl enhancing smoothie and these black castor oil capsules. So I just pop a couple of them open and I'm mixing that in into my hands along with the curl enhancing smoothie. Um, but yeah, if I would have had this earlier this year paired with the no heat at all, I would have been good. But tell you the truth, I haven't really used heat. Not even a blow dryer either. So that's why I know it really is all about the product. Okay, so for right here... I'm going to go ahead and part my hair, get it all squared away, and I'll be back. But y'all don't understand how excited I am. I just feel like my hair is going to grow so much now that I don't have to lose so much of it during the detangling process. I am just excited, overjoyed, everything. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and part and I'll be back. And so the next natural hair YouTuber that I follow, her name is Latoya Ebony. And I am pretty new to her channel. Um, I believe she's been around for years. And I'm not really sure how I stumbled across her channel, but I absolutely love it. And not only... Um, Cause she have 4c hair so of course i love watching people who have similar hair texture as me but the way that she embraces it rocks it I, it's just something to you know pay homage to <laughs> how do you do it like, whatever something to, something that i you know i i like it and um she has some really cute hairstyles as well. She really just knows how to work her 4C hair and make it something to be proud about, you know? So yeah, I really like her, her channel too. And also, um, what I love about her personally is that um, she's very personable. Like, if you leave a comment on her channel, she'll definitely engage back with you. Even the same on Instagram. 
I got messaged her a couple of times and she'll message me back like, oh, I got a little, little, um, what's it called? Oh, I have a big tangle right here. And I need to find out how should I handle this? Should I just cut this tangle out? Oh yeah, it's a big, big tangle right here. But you know what? This was here on wash day and I decided not to mess with it. And here we are, we're back with it. I don't know what to do. It's like literally a lock, you know? So there ain't no combing it through. There's, I don't know. I'm just gonna tuck it back away again. Y'all probably gonna laugh at me, but I'm gonna tuck it back away and I'll deal with it on next wash day but yeah it's like literally a lock right now but oh my gosh please go back and watch my other wash day channel my other watch day video my other wash day video <laughs> this is just a whole different process right now i was sitting there pretty much struggling with my hair the whole time because it was so dry and coarse and I believe I used a deep conditioner and everything but it just wasn't for me apparently so yes um I'm pretty much just retwisting my hair back because after those couple of days it was just really just sticking to my scalp a little bit too much. But it still felt good to the touch. I still felt the moisture in it and all of that. See, look. Oh, my gosh. And look at that shine. Look. Can't nobody tell me no different. Period, poo. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh. Y'all y'all just don't understand. Y'all just don't understand what I'm feeling right now. Look at that. Let me add a little bit of my castor oil to it. Y'all just don't understand. It's like when you finally get a process right. Oh my gosh. Like I'm just I'm just speechless literally speechless but i am gonna have to go back and work out that huge knot right here in this other twist but i ain't gonna worry about it right now anyways other than that my hair is nice and twisted um i'm proud i'm happy and look at that so yeah there it is All right, so I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, have a good night. I'm about to take this makeup off, shower, and go to bed. Y'all have a good night. Bye.